Number 84. Ultrasound reflected from an oncoming bloodstream that is moving at 30 centimeters per second is mixed with the original frequency of 2.5 megahertz to produce beats. What is the beat frequency? All right. So uh, basically, uh, take take a look at number 83, by the way. So we went through this a little bit. Um, and uh, basically, this problem is, a, is another example of 83. It's a double Doppler problem. So watch. The frequency observed is going to be equal to the frequency of the source times... The velocity of the sound through the medium it's traveling through, plus or minus the velocity of the moving object, in this case it's blood, divided by then the velocity of that sound in the in the medium in which it's traveling through, plus or minus the velocity uh, of the blood. Okay? Now, here's the thing. If the two objects are coming together, you might say, well, doesn't this thing just cancel to one? Well, that depends if these signs are the same, then it does, right? So, anytime you have... Uh, you know, a, a sound traveling in one direction and then an object here like the blood traveling in the exact opposite direction, uh, what you will do is you will basically need to take the signs, put a plus sign at the top, and then a minus sign at the bottom. Okay? And now we can just basically solve this. All right? We have to find the observed frequency. And then we can find the beats. So the observed frequency here will simply be equal to the source frequency of 2.5 megahertz, but that's times 10 to the 6. Let's just convert that into uh, hertz for now. And then the velocity, this is through, it's through blood, right? So basically, we'll use the average, it's traveling through all types of tissue. So we'll just use the average of about 1540 meters per second through the body tissues, plus then the velocity of the blood, which they told us is 30 centimeters per second, but you know we need that in meters per second. So that would be 0.3 meters per second, then divided by 1540 minus 0 0.3, and plug this on into the calculator. So there's going to be 1540 plus 0 0.3, divided by then 1540 minus 0 0.3, and then take that and multiply it by now 2.5 times 10 to the sixth. All right, I know it comes out to almost that value, but let's uh, we'll choose... I'm going to write down a lot of uh, decimals. So, uh, what's that? 2,500,974. Okay, that's the observed frequency. Now, to figure out the beat frequency, remember, frequ the beat frequency is simply the absolute value of the difference between the two frequencies. So, here's one frequency, the observed, and then this is the frequency that's being produced. So, all we got to do is just simply calculate that. All right, so we're going to take the 2,500,974, subtract from that 2,500,000, right, that's the other frequency, and what do you get? Obviously here, it's just left with 974, okay, and that's the beat frequency in terms of hertz. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in, appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will look forward to doing more problems. Take care.